Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a lecture on stars and bars counting technique. Uh, this technique is used in combinatorics in specific kind of problems. So let's start the lecture. So first of all, what is stars and bars? So stars and bars is a mathematical technique used for solving certain combinatorial problems. Uh, so it targets only a specific kind of problem and it occurs whenever we want to count the number of ways to group identical objects it may sound a little confusing so let's take an example and understand what kind of problem does star and bar uh, technique targets so let's have a look at this problem so the problem is how many non-negative integer solution exists for this equation so x plus y is equals to 20 and we have to count the total number of solution for this equation where x and y both are non-negative so x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 as well so you have to count the total number of solutions for this equation if you notice you can simply find the total number of solution by running a loop if if you have n here so you can run a loop uh, from 0 to n and each time you put a value in x and see what is the corresponding value of y so the total number of solution would be of course n plus 1 uh, since if you uh, the value of y can be found as 20 minus x since 20 is an integer x is an integer hence uh, 20 minus x would also be an integer so x and y would both be an integer and uh, since y need to be positive as well so 20 minus x should be greater than 0 hence x can take all val values up to 20 and greater than or equal to 0 so the total solution would be 21 but if the equation is something like this so you are you are given six variables and the total sum is 220 then how many different solution exist for this there may be problems uh, if this seems difficult there may be problem where the number of variables are unknown initially and in each test cases the number of variables changes so in this case we are given six variables sum of those is equals to 220 and we have to find the total number of solution for this equation it becomes difficult uh, to count the total number of solution using normal techniques like brute force or ad hoc techniques uh, uh this problem uh it it may seem that okay well someone is gonna ask this kind of question so let me show you a problem from spot so this yeah so this is the problem from spot and it is marble uh, named as marbles so you are given basically you have to choose n different marbles and you are given k different kinds of uh, marbles i mean k different colors of marbles you are given marbles of uh, infinity marbles of k different kinds k different colors and you have to choose n out of those k different colors uh, marbles so each the overall n collection of yours n marble collection of yours must contain at least one uh, one different kind of color one marble of each color at least so if you are having three different colors of marble then and, and you are choosing uh, five different uh, and n is equals to five so you have to choose five marbles but five marble in five marbles there must be at least one marble of each color so you are given k and you are given n so you have to tell how many different kind of selection are possible so here, here is an example so if you have to choose 30 different uh, n is equals to 30 so you have to choose at uh, 30 marbles and you are given seven different kinds of uh, colors of marble so how many different ways you can choose 30 marbles uh, where at uh, from each color at least one marble exists so four lakhs uh, sorry uh, four lakh seventy five thousand and twenty different uh, permutations are possible so if you try to solve this problem where you don't even know uh, k uh, k and n changes in every test case so it becomes difficult to solve using 
uh, analog or even uh, brute force techniques so this is how this is the first problem that we are targeting in uh, stars and bars algorithm and the second kind of problems are this so suppose you have to count the total number of n digit numbers you can form using all the digits from 0 to 9 but the number form should uh, uh, sh uh, the digits of the number form should be in increasing order so say number of digits that is n is equals to 3 so 0 1 2 is a valid configuration because the digits are in increasing order and 0 2 2 would still be a valid configuration but 0 3 2 would be an invalid configuration because the digits won't be in the increasing order or in non-decreasing order so we can use the digits from 0 to 9 and we have to make a n digit number uh, such that the digits are in non-decreasing order so you have to count how many different permutation or how many n digit numbers you can form so uh, there was a contest on code forces which was educational round 80 i guess and uh, there there was given a problem it was a C problem this is that problem and almost the same question was asked there so this is the problem the problem asks you are given N and M so you have to count the number of pairs of arrays which follows these five properties first both the arrays are of length M that is both array contain N M, uh, elements and then the elements of each array must be from 1 to N and the corresponding elements of array A must be smaller than the corresponding elements of B and then A should be in increasing or uh, sorry non decreasing order while B should be in non increasing order so you have to count the total number of pairs and you have to output it 10 to the power 9 uh, modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so if you uh, you you can't solve it but you cannot even imagine how you can solve it using brute force or other technique yeah you can think of uh, solving this problem using DP as this tag also suggests uh, suggests this as a solution but if you see thinking of a DP solution if you are good with DP then it, it, it may be easy but if you are not then it would be very difficult to design such an algorithm to solve this problem but if you have studied uh, stars and bars algorithm then this becomes literally very easy so uh, for first array if you see there are if you take n and m as 2 and 2 what was n for n oh yeah then uh, the digit should be from 1 to n so there are five solution of that and those five solution are listed here array a can can be 1 1 and b can be 2 2 so first element of a is smaller than first uh, element of b first element uh, so, sorry second element of a is smaller than second element of b and both are uh, both uh, both the arrays are having the same number of elements and what was other properties yeah a is in non decreasing order while b is in non increasing order so all these five configurations follows all five properties so if you haven't studied the stars and bars algorithm let me show you what is the editorial for this problem here is the editorial of this problem so it says that okay we can arrange rearrange the m uh, m elements of array a and then the next m elements of array b in this fashion and then there are two m elements which would be in non decreasing order so basically you have to fill two m elements in uh, which should be non decreasing order from 1 to n and if you see it is something like the second problem that i have already told in the uh, in the slide the second kind of problem that we would be solving using stars and bars but if you haven't studied then this editorial would be too hard for you to understand because they have directly given the formula and if you haven't studied that then the formula how they are arriving to this conclusion would be difficult and even the uh, if you look at the uh, comments you would see that there are people who are asking how they have uh, go, uh, derived those formula and other people are which are explaining this so if you haven't studied stars and bars these things would be difficult and if you have studied these problems like this and 
this would be very easy for you to solve so uh, in from this to uh, next two or three articles uh, slides or lectures we would be studying stars and bars and we would be taking on different kinds of problem that we can solve using stars and bars algorithm so i'll be posting like three or four videos uh, and i i will be also uh, telling you how you can solve these problems like this and this this is one of the one of the lectures that we would be studying in combinatory uh, combinatorics so there are other things that we would be studying in combinatorics playlist as well so this is just the start so thank you for watching and yep just keep coding thank you